the Kamil River on the banks of the Nekertal Dam was flooded after the area received above average rainfall in recent years. The flooding cut off a number of access roads and grazing fields for nearby farming communities. We spoke to some members of the interministerial committee. The Nekertal Dam, as we all know, is um, joined by the Fish River, which runs from the Hadap Dam through the Nekertal Dam all the way downstream. So as the water is running, we assume that um, fish populations also come down with this water and they then aggregate in the dam. That's one way. Another way, obviously, is once fish populations have then aggregated in the dam, we have breeding taking place. So breeding has already started and this will be evidenced by um, the research that the Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources is undertaking. It's very important that NAMUTA as an organization be part of this baseline study or the environmental risk assessment study just to sort of uh, give our expertise as well to the project and also see where we can as an organization also help out with the obviously the uh, inland fishery and then the surrounding communities in the area to also benefit from the Nekatal Dam. Cedric Thomas, the traditional councillor of the Nkhaikawa Traditional Authority, responsible for the Snaifontein community, welcomed the interministerial delegation at the tiny village. As you see, in the most parts of the river basin, the river beds, uh, the, the, the movement, the, the, the flow of the river is, has been blocked by a lot of trees, bushes and so on. And that, that causes uh, flooding, yes. And that, that's still uh, something to be, to be considered as well to, to clean the river.